everyone, it's Tarnished Treasures, and today is Saturday, so that means I have a yard sale haul for you. I went to a few flea markets and yard sales. So at one yard sale, uh, my daughter got one of those little fingerlings for a dollar, and then I paid a dollar each for these tools. First, the largest pair of scissors I have ever seen that have this beautiful chipped black paint and uh, they seem pretty sharp and like they would still work, but I thought they would be really nice for a Halloween display. So they're probably gonna go in this little metal container. I thought this container would look nice for platters and silverware and linens, but we're not having any type of party anytime soon. So I took them out of the paint bucket so you can see these little tools better. And uh, I might put a little piece of tape on the bottom of that so it doesn't scratch or cut what's underneath, but I could see that added in here, or maybe it will go into my corner cabinet that I will have to share with you soon what I did for Halloween. That is also the reason why I picked up this piece. Maybe it's an ice pick, not 100% sure, but I remember when Moss Stone Story said she picked up an ice pick for her Halloween display because honestly, is any Halloween display complete if it doesn't have an ice pick? Um, so I got that. I thought the wood just looked really nice and would look nice with the collection of wood pieces I have in here. I think there's even a little bit of green paint, so that's perfect. And that kind of looks like a bottle opener, so maybe I am correct calling that a nice pick. I don't know. Then I paid $5 for this, and it has this great wheat pattern, so I'm definitely going to try and feature that for this season. And I have a piece similar. Um, I'm looking in my corner cabinet now to see. Aha, I see it. So let me see what design that one has. This is the one that I have, and this is the one that I just got today. And I guess the difference is this one has a flower added to it, and this one is just the wheat. I paid a dollar for this one, so that was a great deal. And I paid five for this, which I still think is a good price. And um, it is web sterling on the bottom. Nice and clean. They look like they even polished it up a little bit before they sold it as well. So that might stay out here and I'll have to figure out what to put in there. My daughter has suggested some marbles. For right now, I put the scissors in this vase. I actually needed something to add more weight to, uh, well, it's not really a vase, it's a pitcher, to balance out the weight of the branches. I also think it could be fun just laying like that. Whenever I get a new piece, I always try it in a bunch of different places until I'm happy. And my ice pick has been added here. I just put a little bit of clear tape around the bottom. I paid $1 for this tea container. I like the font on there and it'll be a great storage piece. It says that this jar was made in France. I didn't realize until after I bought it that I think it's missing that rubber gasket. Um, Maybe I can order one or even at the thrift store, maybe I'll find something similar that still has it and I could pay a dollar or two for one there and then just add it to this because I would like to put tea in here, loose tea, but I don't want the glass on glass touching each other um, because I don't want a piece of glass to chip into my tea. So until then, I can just use it for storage of something else, but I would like to put tea in that. I paid $5 for this grouping of items. First is this little hat, and if it had a hard tablet in it, I would think it was a sachet, but maybe it's just a small pin cushion, and that could just be a perfect hat to craft with. Then there was this pin and clip-on earring set. That one is really nice. I don't know what flower, I don't know if that's supposed to be like a white lilac but I thought it was really pretty. And then there was two clip-on earrings. The one has some rhinestones missing, but the other one is in great shape. And I don't notice any type of um, name on them. I also got this bracelet and I have seen these at um, a thrift store marked $45 a piece. So to spend about 250, I was really excited. And it has a pansy, We'll say a flower, a star, a turtle that has a scarab back. Maybe it's a lizard. Um, there's a cameo, a star, a fleur-de-lis, 
another flower with a crescent moon. Um, kind of looks like a fly, a rose, a moon. I love all of those symbols. So that was uh, a really nice find. And oh, that one is marked. Uh, hold it, New York. I got this copper mold. It's got some tin on the inside. Um, I don't know if it has a hanger, if that means it's decorative or if you would have just stored it like that when you weren't using it. And I'm gonna polish it up and put it in the kitchen. Maybe I'll turn it into a candle or just put a votive in there, but I love copper in my kitchen. And then I got this photo album and I have one very similar. That is the purple velvet. All the purple has come off here, but it has a name engraved on it. And you know, any monograms or engravings. So it says Veronica G-A-E-N-G, -E I believe. And look, there's a face on this. It's got these awesome corner pieces. And that's the pattern on the inside. It's a purple. I don't know what color it looks like on screen, but it's a purple with gold flowers. So I thought that was so beautiful. You can see, obviously, it's not attached, which is fine. I will doctor that up. And then on the inside, there's this note. I'm very sorry, windows are open. <laughs> At least nobody's mowing the grass right now, I don't think. It says, presented to Miss Veronica Gang from her papa, 1887. And so it has this like tiger wood look to it. No pictures left in there. And then here's an example of the uh, purple velvet. So we'll see what I do with this. I found a lot of vintage linens at one of the sales and they were only a quarter a piece. So I picked up all the monogram napkins. There are two that say NKW and they just have a little floral leaf pattern on them. I believe two that have this initial, which I have no clue, maybe a V, I'm not sure. Um, now three of those. And then I liked this one because it had the knots and it's a rose. Catch the light, yeah. So there's a rose pattern. I don't know what this one is either. Maybe, I mean, it's kind of similar. Maybe a V, I don't think it's a K, but it has little knots and I love that. So I got four of those. These were all a quarter as well. Um, I'll have to clean this one up, but it kind of reminds me of a little sachet. Pick up, picked up a doily that was still sewn to this paper. Little Christmas handkerchief with polka dots. I mean, they're all gonna need to be washed and cleaned. Uh, an oval piece, which I want to pair with some of my bread pieces um, when I craft with those. Oh, another one of those napkins. So um, five of those design. Then I love the fact that this one is in a box and it's still got the little doily that it would have been presented in. And the sticker says it was made in Switzerland, all cotton. Let's see what this is. I guess just a delicate little handkerchief with a leaf pattern. Man, everybody's working outside today. That's why I'm about to go as soon as I've done this. I don't know what this little piece is, but I liked the colors. It's a light pink, some white and hmm, like a gold, wheat gold color. Little table topper. And it just has the one corner, it's a square. Just the one corner is this style. And a nice silk piece. That one's just like a square scarf, but you could use it for anything and it's a pink. It feels really nice. When I felt it, yeah, I think it is silk. Here's a little bit of a better view of them. The handkerchief, the pink square scarf that has this pretty little trim, and then this table topper. So you can see the corner is just the same 
on all three and then different on this one. And two little bottles for a quarter. So the linens and the bottles came to five. I paid a dollar for that dictionary to, t uh, to take to school. So I didn't really pay much at each place, about five, six dollars, I think, at each sale. Not too bad. Um, so this is gonna go out for Halloween. It's really heavy. There's like cracks and bubbles. It was sitting with some other jar or glasses, glass bottles, and the color just was so different from the other ones. And this one has a really interesting top as well. Like doesn't really have threads on it. And I love the green. And just looking at the irregular thickness on the bottom, um, but it does have like numbers on it. So that's gonna go out as well for Halloween. I need to get those cleaned up before I put them out, but you can see the green glass jar there. And then I've got some glass up here. So I thought that those would be nice to mix in. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed seeing what I picked up this Saturday and I'll see you in another video. Uh, on Friday the 8th, I'm doing a collaboration with Mallstone Story Vintage and Yard Sale Squad, where we share our fall favorites for the five senses. Hope you have a great week. Bye.